What's up traders? Corey Smith here at CoreFX bringing you another pre-week market analysis video doing our weekly technical talk here at CoreFX. Um, today's Friday, January 18th, 2019. We've come to an end of another trading week. Anybody who's never seen these videos before, I do a full breakdown of the Forex markets. I go over all the individual currencies, indexes, the US dollar crosses, what's on my watch list for the coming week. A little bit of what's going on in the news and the markets currently, the last week, the week ahead, and uh, really just your one-stop shop for everything Forex related for the coming week. Watch it over the weekend, watch it a couple times, get you ready for the trading week. Um, again, if you haven't seen these videos before, please th smash the like button below, throw a comment, let me know what you do or don't like about the video. Um, subscribe to my page, turn on your notifications so that every week when I drop this video, you are notified. All my students, all my returning viewers, thank you guys so much as always, I really can't appreciate enough the support i get a lot of awesome feedback about these videos i'll be upping them in the future for sure once my recording studio is set up um and once i divert a little more attention to youtube been doing a lot of website building course building strategy testing stuff like that but youtube is on the 2019 palette to really start focusing more on so i appreciate all you guys i'm going to go ahead and switch this over to the charts go over what's going on in the markets and uh bring you guys my opinion and update and focus on what we have in the markets this week all right thank you guys and i'll catch you in there all right guys so starting off with the performance on the week as you guys can see we've got the pound cad dollar top performers new zealand swiss franc japanese yen bottom performers so we had strong equities all week typically that means strong aussie strong new zealand weak swiss franc weak japanese yen weak euro uh, new zealand and aussie didn't agree with that didn't perform with that confirmation, with that conf, uh, correlation. However, Swiss franc, Japanese yen, two of the bottom performers, euro right behind it. They did agree with it. These correlations are dynamic, always changing, always moving. So can't always depend on it. Brexit, we had a failed, I mean, out of the pound, we had a failed Brexit vote earlier in the week. And then Theresa May had a vote of confidence for her um, remaining in charge of the prime ministry um, and remaining in her position. And she won that vote. So there's been a little bit more renewed confidence into it after that sell-off from that Brexit vote failure. But um, the pound did see some strength this week. The dollar saw some strength. CAD seeing some strength. That's some strong CPI numbers today, Friday, out of the CAD. So um, that is the story this week. We're going to go ahead and see if we follow this trend into the into next week. That's why we watch this relative performance chart. We want to ride the trends, ride the strength, sell off the weakness. And we want to be on the right side of what's moving strongly and what is moving week so that is why we keep an eye on these and that is what's going on this week in the news this past week we had a lot going on we had missed ppi data out of the u.s we had ecb draghi speak in parliament vote on tuesday that failed one of the worst votes in brexit uh parliament history i believe um we had cpi out of england as expected uh ppi beat expectations bank of england carney spoke we had Bank of, Bank of Japan, Kuroda speaking, G20 meetings, CPI beat, beat expectations out of the CAD, retail sales missed out of the pound. So nothing too crazy, no unemployment reports, no central bank meetings, but a uh, decent amount of news. And uh, as you guys can see, what performed and what underperformed based off the news, big pound week. This coming week, we got Chinese GDP on Sunday night, one of the rare Sundays I will be looking to trade. This should cause some market movement, a lot going on between the U.S. and China with trade talks and tariffs and all. Um, you, the Chinese economy has been struggling lately. Any data is important out of China as they are one of the world's biggest economies. However, with them being um, in a declining point right now and trade deals up in the air between the U.S., the biggest customer of China, and China, um, there really is a lot of eyes on these news events. So this should be a big mover for the yen, the Aussie, New Zealand, Swiss franc, those risk on, risk off currencies. Then we have unemployment data out of the pound on Tuesday, Mondays, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Um, not much going on. Great holiday being celebrated in the U.S. Then we have, uh, again, our unemployment rate out of the pound overnight into Tuesday a.m. New Zealand CPI strong inflation report. Bank of Japan's monetary policy meeting, their central bank meeting. This is like the U.S. FOMC meetings. Big news. Japan, Japanese meeting isn't typically that important as we know their rates aren't likely to change. But still something to keep an eye on. Um, we have retail sales data out of Canada. Employment report out of Aussie. Big news event. PMI numbers out of Europe. 
big data refinancing rate ecb press conference keep an eye on thursday a.m um and that's about it for the week as far as news events we want to be aware of so i will go ahead now and jump into each individual currencies chart starting with the u.s dollar which i thought we were going to find resistance in this gray box here on prior structure was a higher low being retested multiple times strong break Thought we we're going to hit, hit it and potentially sell off again as we are now below the moving averages or below the trend line. Price has rounded up and reversed, um, set a new lower low. However, this lower high is breaking through. Price is moving higher. We could see price reject 96.50. That'll probably line up perfectly with the 50 SMA. And next week, we could be ready to sell off in the dollar. However, we also could be seeing a continuation to the upside. So we'll be keeping an eye on the dollar here. We broke a strong level. I was looking to short it off of, but it continues upward and we will keep an eye out. Euro is on this strong support, hasn't broken it yet. I'll pull one of these daily levels down in here to show you this area. Lots of traffic, lots of strong pushes away, strong breaks, and price has just really found a lot of consolidation and uh, rejection to this zone. It's also a trend line that we're seeing price hit here, so we want to keep an eye on this. See if rejection happens and we get a long opportunity out of the euro, or if it breaks below this, maybe we get a retest short opportunity, breaking out of this um, nice strong um area here where support and trend line are all meeting japanese yen selling off from this strong move right we're above all the moving averages setting higher highs higher lows price is pulling back could look for price to find support at around this 86.50 level here um, looking left it is some strong structure all in this zone as well we'll see if price finds support there and potentially look for long opportunities for the yen pound as you guys can see we are been steadily moving higher now um, above the moving averages, 20 is about to cross the 50 SMA here. Price is setting a higher high, hitting a bit of resistance, pulling back a little bit. We could look for long opportunities down in this range for this trend reversing, or as the pound has been doing for a while now, we could just find resistance and sell off. As you can see, there has not been a clear trend in the pound for a while. This is just a shorter term trend breakdown of price breaking structure, setting higher highs, higher lows, moving above the moving averages. So we want to keep an eye on this and um, watch for any long opportunities, but all in all, the pound has been very volatile lately and aren't too sure of anything it could do. Canadian dollar, as you guys can see, we broke above the moving averages, broke the trend line, broke structure, set a new higher high, temporarily pulled back for lower low and has bounced a little bit. This 50 SMA is now acting as support also on this prior structure. We're in a little bit of a basing pattern, not too much movement here. So we'll be keeping an eye on this pair to see if price could potentially uh, break above this resistance continue this new uptrend and now move to the upside higher. Swiss franc broke out of this channel, broke out of this uptrend, sold off strong all week, broke the 50 SMA, broke this weekly support that's a pretty big zone, so it's kind of still in it, but immediately in our view, we have been breaking it. Um, set a new trend changing lower low, so for this pair, we will be watching for a little bit of this and then a little bit of that and look for this downtrend to continue and potentially get another push to the downside after maybe a little bit of a... a Correction this week here. Australian dollar, as you guys can see, is another one that hasn't been in a great trend. We set a lower low, pulled back, starting to curl over, got a bullish momentum candle yesterday, but um, now is immediately rejecting this 50 SMA and resistance again. So this could be a lower high, could be a push lower. If we throw Fibonacci from the prior move high to the swing low, you can see we're right around the 618 Fibonacci level of resistance here. So this could be holding for this lower high. We could get a push back to the downside here. Um, New Zealand dollar, as you guys can see, um, another one, not much trending going on. We were in an uptrend, then strong sell off reverse trend, then strong push back up. And now we're selling off again. Um, this 68 level looks like the price is below it and it's rejecting it now. So we will be keeping an eye on this. Nothing too sure to call home about. We got a lower low, pull back for a lower high. This could be rolling over for a lower low. So we want to keep an eye on the New Zealand dollar and see how it does. Now going over to the S&P 500, you guys can see this is the U.S. equity markets, U.S. stock markets, the S&P 500, top 500 companies. Um, sold off, broke lower, price has rejected back up and for four weeks straight now. We've seen some bullish price action back up above this very strong resistance that was support. Now if support again, broke the 50 SMA, really just broke through all kinds of barriers. Weekly, you can see we touched a nice 200 week SMA broke lower and then immediately reversed back for four straight weeks now and we are breaking into trend changing looking territory so uh my bias is remaining neutral with this with a more so leaning towards bullishness now 
with this break of structure, with this strong bullish move, breaking the 50 SMA and back up above support. Um, I could see a potential for this pair to move higher from here. Gold, we called this move lower price than now reversed is back to an uptrend now. We're above all the moving averages. Nice, strong 50 crossed above the 200 golden cross. Bullish price action here. We did break out now out of this lower time frame wedge pattern we had forming here. Price is selling off. However, we have a strong support zone in here. And then we have a couple other strong zones that we could look for long opportunities with this pair. If price does break out, we could have long opportunities off of here. If this is a pullback or potentially long opportunities here. But if price makes it all the way down here, I'd probably only be looking for a long up to that position to then look for a short off of that zone there. But um, price is selling off, getting a bearish engulfing here, getting some bearish momentum out of this pattern. I do think short term we are definitely bearish this pair, but I still think this uptrend could continue. I still think maybe down in the support zone around 126 um, or 1260 could be where we find support and continue the upside. Taking us over to the euro dollar, you guys can see um, we set a new higher high. Earlier in the week, I thought this was going to be a beautiful long setup here off of this broken resistance turn support, but price just sold off right through it and it's continued to trickle lower since. We're approaching the strong weekly level again and we're right on this trend line. It hasn't really been broken per se because you can see it's from this zone of these bodies to these wicks, bodies to wicks. So we're still in this zone right of this trend line. We could be looking for a bounce off the support or we could look for a break retest short. But um, I did like this pair for long this week. Didn't play out, but that's part of the game. It's all right. Pound dollar. Uh, I'm not really looking to trade this pair, but we did break up above this resistance. Now immediately selling off of it. A lot of sloppy price action. Not really much of a breakdown to do here on the pound other than to just wait and see. Dollar cat. I do like to the downside. Strong sell off. Few day pullback consolidation in here. Lower time frame. We're starting to break out of this little flag pattern, bear flag pattern here. We could look for our next bearish sell-off from here at a break of this pattern, maybe down to this 200-day moving average. Dollar yen broke out of this wedge in a strong downtrend. Could be just a correction. Could look for short opportunities back up here around 110 to 111 between this daily weekly range to look for this potential rollover to continue the downtrend. Dollar Swiss franc, not very clean chart. Really ugly, actually. Um... Just moving lower and choppy, choppy, choppy. Broke up higher, did break up above a nice level. Continued higher, broke above the 200-day moving average, now the 50. So we could just look for a pullback to then look for longs, but this one's another one out on my radar, just waiting to see what price does. We don't have any strong, clear, nice trends. Aussie dollar, US dollar, um, made a lower low, pulled back a lot more than we would have liked to. We wanted to see a lower high under this daily level here, broke up and above it. Now basing, this is now in a place where it could really break either way. Um, we're in a nice little tight pattern here, right? A tight consolidation. As you guys can see, there's a number of different patterns you could draw on it, but all in all, it is a consolidation pattern, right? It is price basing out. We've got a little bit of a wedge pattern, um, and it is obviously more of an uptrend here on the lower time frame, four hour, but on the daily, it could just be a pullback. Uh, we are seeing some rejection to the upside, but this one's one that I would like to wait to see where we break out of this range. If you're a range-bound breakout trader, you could be placing buys above, sells below, however you trade. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Just knocked something down. Um, but this is where I will be looking for either a break to the upside or the downside before I really have any too big a confirmation with this pair. New Zealand dollar, U.S. dollar. I was looking for long opportunities on this pair today. Higher high push, broke structure, broke through all the moving averages. A little bit of a pullback. Was hoping we'd find support on this 20-day moving average. And price would continue higher. Looking at a lower time frame view, you can see where this counter trend line was starting to break. However, we got a double top rejection here to the trend line, to the 200, day, uh, 200 hourly, 200 SMA, um, and this daily resistance. And price is sold off. So uh, going to wait and see what this pair does. This pair could continue selling off as well. That takes us over to our watch list, starting with the, Jap the New Zealand dollar, Japanese yen. Been in a nice downtrend, set a strong lower low, bounced off weekly support, rallied up, now found resistance under the daily resistance level here. Been range bound. Zooming in a little bit, you can see where price has been, um, you know, just bouncing around here in this range, rejecting resistance once again. And uh, this was the flash crash that we rejected off this zone with. But we could look for now a sell off to continue this to the downside. Euro yen, pretty similar setup. 
could be forming a little bit of a double top pattern here. Broke below strong support turn resistance now holding price under it. We could see price rollover from this resistance. All Z Yen again, another similar one. We had a strong weekly level on this pair that we broke below, rally back up to retest, starting to see some rejection, strong level. Could see price reject this zone and continue a push to the downside. Pound Swiss franc, strong break of structure, strong counter trend move, broke the moving averages, broke resistance, broke structure, strong push higher bullishness. Now we could wait for a pullback, get in for longs around this support to try to catch that next push higher. Pound New Zealand, similar story, right? Broke the trend, set a higher high, pulled back for a higher low, now pushed up for another higher high, rejecting off this 200 day moving average. But price could pull back as it's doing right now, find support around this $1.89 level here, and look for long opportunities to catch the next push higher. Euro pound, very strong sell off. Uh, price blew through all kinds of levels. All three moving averages just sold off like crazy here. Um, and as you guys can see, we're now starting to bounce. Right, we're starting to push back higher. We could look for a short opportunity around this 200 day SMA, also on this weekly level here where I have this start of this red arrow. Um, so this could be a good opportunity for us to look for shorts off of this correction within this downtrend and strong bearish sell off. Euro Aussie on strong daily support, very strong level looking left. After a strong push lower, we had a push, a little bit of exhaustion, push, stalling out now. We could get more exhaustion. Could come back up to retest this prior support turn resistance and look for shorting opportunities off that zone. Or we might just base around this level here and then eventually break lower or reverse and just blow right through our pullback zone as well and just reverse trend there. Euro Swiss franc, this is a breakout trade I'm watching. As you guys can see, we have been moving lower. Bounced off of this weekly support a couple times here and now we've moved higher. We're breaking the 50 SMA. This is our market structure, right? This was the lower high we set in this downtrend that's been holding. Retest the lower high, retest the lower low, retest the lower high. Price could either double top like it looks like it potentially could do here and move to the downside back to the bottom of this range. Or if price is able to come up and break this resistance, I would love to see a nice long setup. Maybe we play the break retest if that's your strategy. Maybe you play the initial break. However it may be, this looks like it could be setting up for a good breakout strategy trade this coming week you can see the moving averages are rolling over structures being retested this trend is in jeopardy of reversing Aussie New Zealand another one similar story trend in jeopardy reversing above the 50 SMA now above the 20 they're both sloping reversing slope we broke this nice trend line um, we are breaking this strong resistance structure level as well so we could be looking for a lower time frame breakout of this resistance to potentially catch a nice long trade off of this pair Next up, we have the uh, Aussie dollar, Canadian dollar. This made a nice move lower, pulled back to retest this resistance as a lower high. Also, the 50 SMA, 20 SMA, 200 SMA, all lining up here. Strong resistance zone. You can see some bearish pressure. Zooming in a little bit, you can see this counter trend line that I'm watching here very closely. Would ideally like to see a setup like this. Break this trend line, break this support, come back to retest, catch that next move lower. Um, but a nice short opportunity here as price has set a new trend changing structure low and lower high. Um, New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar. This was a trade we called out in the signal room this room. This was a nice short. I'm continuing to ride it, hoping that we can move it into a um, another move lower even below here as we have what looks like a head and shoulders pattern forming here. But um, we had a nice lower low form here. Pull back to retest resistance as a lower high. Price rejected resistance, nice spinning top candle here, broke the counter trend line, moved lower. We had a nice entry here on the hourly chart, as you guys can see with this nice base, got a nice trigger short with this push lower road all the way to our take profit two. Nice play take profit two placement, didn't want to set it all the way at the low here. As you can see, this is where buying pressure came into the market and, so, and the um, buy orders outweighed the sell orders, push price higher. So we set the take profit at the beginning of this zone where price came down started to collect buy orders and bounced off of it just barely in time to take us out of our take profit at a nice 90 pip gain new zealand dollar swiss francs another one i'll be watching for potential shorts this opportunity this week we are above weekly resistance now however i'll be looking for short opportunities to the downside off of this zone all right so that does it for this week's breakdown guys i really appreciate it thank you all for tuning in if you guys have anything you want me to cover in the next videos anything you want me to do differently any feedback at all please leave in the comment section below if you like what you're seeing please 
slap the like button subscribe to the page turn on notifications so that every time i drop one of these you guys are notified but thank you all very much i hope you got something out of this video i hope you guys are ready for next week and i hope you guys all have a great weekend thank you guys very much for tuning in and i will catch you in the next one